Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell used stuff on eBay. Today is a Friday and we got 44 orders going out today. I believe something like 44. Um, very good last two days of sales. I actually sold almost the same exact, exact amount dollar wise the last two days. $474 and ch some change. I was just in a quarter of each dollar amount both days. So that's kind of interesting, kind of fun. But we got quite a bit going out. I sold a lot of 78s. I've been list I listed oh, about 90, 95, 78s this last week. So I'm gonna put some of those up on the screen now. Buyers of 78s can be kind of particular. Number one, a lot of 78s that get shipped to them are damaged to transport. And a lot of them are worried about that because they don't want to spend a lot of money and then have to deal with that. Although it usually works out for them, they should get their money back. So a lot of them will ask, how are you going to ship these? And I'll show you at the end how I ship them. I've shown you before, but you can stay and see that if you want to, because they're very breakable. I've sold, I can't remember how many I've sold the last couple of days, but I've had three different people reach out to me in the last 24 hours and be like, how are you going to ship these? They either ask before or after the sale. And I tell them and they're all happy. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's just show you guys what's sold. 78s are at home, and I might have some other stuff at home, but I'll just put that all up on the screen and you can see it. Record sales have been very good for me. It is now in the top five categories for the year. They kicked out DVDs out of the top five. DVDs is now number six. Records is number five. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Um, that's actually what I'm going to work on today. I'm going to photograph a lot more 78s for me to list on Monday because they're selling great. Average sales price is very high for me with them. Shipping does take a little while, and I'm storing them at home because they're so breakable. But let's see what's sold. Let's start down here on the floor. We got one set of CDs going out. And if you're new to the channel, I forgot today to set off the light sensor that goes off every couple of minutes. So walk over there, do that, and show you these CDs. These are all folk CDs. I think there's like 45 of them for $40 or something. You can see up on the screen for sure, but a lot of those up and sold. Here is one poster going out. I did not, I was kind of surprised how few posters I had in my poster tote. So that's going out. This is a Wolverine poster, brand new. But yeah, got that. 145 Saddle Tramp by Marty Robbins. Most 45s are not worth much, but this one got a little bit of value, $8 plus shipping. Very happy with that. We have quite a few CDs going out. Let's see if we can move this all around here. Real time travelers live in real time, think in old time. Whole bunch of string band type stuff. Alan Hart, old time banjo. And then Hawk Tomahawk, Hiatus Coyote. I don't know. And here we go. Kishibashi. I totally pronounced that wrong, I guarantee it. Yeah. Lots of interesting stuff there. Those are four CDs that are going out. Stick them in there. This is my sell from True Gather, Mathematics for the Plumber and Fitter by Robert Starbucks. Starbucks stuff usually does pretty decently. Came across a bunch of it recently. Not recently, sorry. A year ago. Actually, it's been about a year and a half now. That sold. Very happy with that. One postcard going out. We got the Eiffel Tower. Pretty cool. I'm glad this is a postcard instead of a photograph because shipping is gonna be about $3 cheaper, even though I ship them in the same exact package. Stick that down there so it doesn't get bent. This, oh, this was almost scary. So I did not put the custom SKU in the listing of this, but luckily I take a picture of the number right there and put it in the listing so I was able to look and see that 1811 was in the listing. I was able to find it fairly quickly. So yeah, otherwise that would have probably taken about 30 minutes to find. But luckily, that's the great thing about this system, these SKUs, is if you mess up, there should be three different ways to find this. You should put this in the custom SKU. You should also have it, a photograph of it in the listing. And if you forget both of those, number three is you can go and actually look. And you should have listed these in order. 2058 should be listed right before. 2060 should be listed right after. So you can go and look, when did I list this? And what numbers did I list right before and right after that are still listed? You should be able to find it that way. So you kind of have three ways of finding your items, which is great. This was a good sell. I think I got $75 for this. I had it listed for 100. This is a Kansas City College 
It's like a vintage, I believe, practice football shirt, jersey. It's a very heavy material. I originally listed for 100. Somebody messaged me right away and said, hey, I buy 99% of all the Kansas City College stuff on eBay. I'll give you $20 for this. Nobody else will buy it. And I declined their offer. Actually, I countered. We weren't able to come to agreement, but somebody else bought it a couple months later for 75. So very happy there. And I knew they didn't buy most of the stuff because I'd sold other Kansas City College stuff to other people. Um, this is a vintage shirt of some sort. Okay, I remember this one. This is like an auto parts type shirt. Listed quite a few vintage auto parts shirts. This is one I just listed. There's another one that sold that I've been listing for a while. This is a motor off of a Singer sewing machine, model 201. These are really good machines. Um, if you want to do more like leather work, this is the type of machine. That motor needs completely rebuilt though, so. Yep. Two parts off the same machine. We got this extension tray. These always still sell really good. And then this bottom cover. I wouldn't pull these off to list them, but since I pull them off to get Underneath them, I go ahead and list them, and every once in a while, one of them does sell. I don't understand why somebody would actually lose this or break this. I don't know how that would happen, but sold these two parts to the same buyer. Very happy there. One router bit going out, brand new and packaged. Got this from my uncle that buys out of states. So make us both a little bit of money. Ooh, one more CD. Earth to the Dandy Warhols. Cool. We've got some fabric going out. A lot of this is going to the same buyer. They bought more fabric that's down in the other unit. This is like precious memories, precious moments, whatever that is. Going out and then some fall leaves and one more vintage like auto part shirt. Going to a different buyer than the other auto part shirt though, strangely enough. Listing a lot of vintage clothing the last couple days because I went through all my clothing it's all listed now. I have no more clothing left to photograph. So yeah, very cool. That is everything down in this unit. We're going to go to the other unit and then I'll show you guys how I ship 78s. I need to put this away first though, but let's go. All right, here's everything else we got going out. First things first, one hat, Lowe's Commercial Services. This has been listed a couple of years, but it finally did sell. sell. There's just a lot of these on the market. Generally like hats from Fast food restaurants do a lot better than from places like Lowe's and O'Reilly's. Just because they have a lot more overturn in their employees. Their employees more often wear hats. That's usually who's buying them. It's actually employees wanting to save money rather than buying them from the actual company. One eight track Santana going out. Pretty cool. So a lot of eight tracks. Just don't get a lot of eight tracks. One steel carburetor going out i've got a whole bunch of these for a dollar a piece these are used and i'm listing them for parts of repair they still sell got nine dollars plus shipping on this one some of those i was getting 20 30 dollars for but kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel of what's left um here let's go start up here first clear some space this is cd soul communication by dr zai gang shaw more cds going out that one had been listed a little while this is cool Betty Crocker Dinner in a Dish Cookbook. Old Betty Crocker, usually worth looking up at the very least. The older it is, the better. Also, people are real stickler, sticklers on how early of a printing it is. So the earlier you can have the printing, the better. We have a lot of 26 comic books, Generation X. You can barely hold all these. Going out, I think I sold these for $22. The best part about selling these is I was able to combine my two comic boxes down to just one. So that's all the comics I have left now. Very happy about that. As you know, I really don't like selling comics that much. Here we got The Fifth Generation by Edward Feigenbaum. Don't know. Oh, it's a book on artificial intelligence. It's probably why it's sold. It's a popular topic right about now. So we've got two sewing machine parts, or several sewing machine parts. First, we got this Feed dog. Now this buyer, I just listed for 17. They asked if I would do 10 because they were on a fixed budget. I said I would do 12 on it. They said, great. And then they bought it for full price. I did go ahead and just refund them the $5 because I don't think they realized how to buy it for 12. So I just refunded them and we did things that way. These two parts are going out to different buyers. They're off of the same machine that had been listed a little over two years. 
so yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. And I only have one more part left to that machine now. I actually had, these came off of a Singer 237. I bought two of those machines within about a month or two of each other, and I only have like four parts left total. So that's pretty cool. A little four part going out. Not a lot of money, but these are so easy to list, ship, store. They check all the boxes there. One Singer foot pedal. I think this has been listed a while because the rubber band broke on it, but don't remember how long it's been listed for sure. Usually you get around like eight to $10 on that style of foot pedal. Here's the rest of that fabric that the same buyer bought a whole bunch of. They want me to refund some shipping, so we're going to do that. This is one pair of football pants. I accidentally had the wrong SKU number on this. I had 1250 in the listing and it's 1251, but I did pull them out and check. Yes, these are the right thing. I just had a typo when I was typing it in. No big deal. And the last but not least, we got six of these. They're all different. These are these were reprinted in the 90s. These are cards that the Cherokee Studies Institute put out of scenes around Tahlequah. I've got hundreds of these, and most of these that I have right here, I have over 50 of. So we got the telephone building, the Tiki House. We've got the train depot, <clears throat> Main Street, and another view of Main Street looking north. I also had a view of Main Street looking south, but they didn't get that. They paid $6.15 a piece. I'll say they paid $5 a piece on shipping on these. I normally don't refund buyer shipping unless they ask, but $30 seems a bit excessive, so I might refund their shipping. We'll think about it. Anyways, let's go back to the house. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys real quickly how I ship out a 78 wrecker. Now these things are very breakable, so we need to be careful with them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the big box. This is a 12 by 12 by 12 box. You could probably get away with like a 12 by 12 by four. I've even heard from people that you can get them under one pound if you do that. But I just got the 12 by 12 by 12 because that's what I keep on hand and they're well protected in that. So we're taking it, our record, and I'm going to wrap this in bubble wrap. This is medium size bubble wrap, which I believe is like 3 16 from American Bubble Boy. We're gonna go one direction, tear it off, and then we're going to go the other direction, okay? Wanna make sure I'm getting good coverage on that. Lots of bubble wrap around these. Now, buyers always ask how I ship these out. I get that message all the time. Probably about half of buyers of 78s are asking me how I ship them. At least that's how it's been this last week. Take packing paper, more than that. Put it in the bottom of the box so that this record can just basically float. Now put the record in the box. We got it in here on top of some packing paper. Then I'll put more packing paper on top. Kind of crumple it up. Don't push down too hard because you could crack the record at this point. Don't put too much packing paper in there because you don't want it to be too tight of a fit. You just want it where you shake it and it doesn't move around. But that record is now just floating on that paper. Tape it up, mail it out for two pounds medium rate, which right now is $4.67. And that's how you ship a 78.